Mastering English Idioms, Unraveling, Getting on a Bit. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're delving into a commonly used English idiom, getting on a bit. This phrase can be a tad confusing, especially for English language learners. So, buckle up as we unfold its meaning, usage, and nuances to help you sound like a native speaker. At first glance, getting on a bit might seem vague, but it's actually a polite and indirect way of saying that someone or something is aging or becoming older. It's often used to refer to people, pets, or objects in a way that's gentle and somewhat humorous. This phrase is quite versatile. Let's see how it's used in different contexts. 1. Referring to people, when talking about someone's age, especially if they are of an older generation, you might say, my grandfather is getting on a bit, but he's as sharp as ever. This acknowledges their age without being blunt or disrespectful. 2. Referring to pets. Similarly, for pets, you could say, my dog is getting on a bit, so he's not as energetic as he used to be. 3. Referring to objects. Even for inanimate objects, this phrase is applicable. For instance, this car is getting on a bit, but it still runs smoothly. While getting on a bit is widely understood and used in English-speaking countries, it's important to approach the topic of age with sensitivity. Different cultures have different attitudes towards aging and discussing someone's age. This idiom offers a softer, more respectful way to approach the subject. So there you have it, folks. Getting on a bit is a polite, indirect way of referring to someone or something that's aging. It's a phrase that adds a touch of delicacy and humor to conversations about age. We hope this video clears up any confusion and helps you use getting on a bit confidently in your daily conversations. Thanks for watching and keep practicing your English with us.